Hey Parasites and welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I am out she outside where they're filming Venom 2 right now. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Venom Vlog and I'm going to try to keep my voice down a little bit because it's pretty late. It's like almost one in the morning on Monday night uh, going into Tuesday. I guess it's technically Tuesday morning, uh, but uh, I was laying in bed and I was getting ready to go to sleep because I got to work tomorrow afternoon and I was like, or t later this afternoon, I guess like in 12 hours or so. And I was like uh, going through the IMDb pages of movies like Morbius and uh, Venom and Resident Evil trying to look for some information about stuff. And I did actually come across a new stunt performer that's listed. And I don't know how recent he was listed, but I realized that he was listed as the stunt performer for Carnage. And I was like, oh, okay. I don't think I saw this information before. There was also some other stunt people we'll briefly talk about too that were added to the list of stunt uh, you know, performers and drivers and things like that for this movie. Um, but I thought this was kind of interesting because Ari Decker, who is the person who does the stunt performance of Carnage uh, also plays Chewbacca uh, in the Solo movie. And, and the only reason I wanted to make a video on this is because I saw an interview with him right around the time Solo came out, or maybe it was like soon after it came out. And I saw this interview with him where he was talking about taking up the mantle of Chewbacca and how amazing it was and you know and how, how, how blessed he felt and all that stuff. And he just seemed like a really cool guy. And I was like, oh, I'll try to make a mental note of, you know, in case he pops up in anything else. And, uh, and sure as anything, when I saw him here, I was like, I don't recognize this guy. I don't know who this is. So I clicked on his page to see what other movies he had done. And I saw that he had played Chewbacca in Solo. And I was like, oh, that's the dude who was like, you know, was like really humble about getting the role of Chewbacca. Um, so I thought, you know, I was like, hey, cool. He's going to play Carnage. But he's a big guy. <laughs> like, he's a really big guy. Um, he's Chewbacca big. And it made me start thinking of, you know, what Carnage does, you know, his design might be like, how big will Carnage be? You know, is he uh, going to be the size of Venom? You know, because typically in the comics, Venom is a little bit, you know, imposing towers over Carnage a little bit. Um, and that's just because Eddie Brock's, you know, he works out, he, he pumps iron and stuff. And Carnage is kind of this sleeker, you know, more, uh, you know, nimble kind of, you know, creature, I guess. And, uh, and so I was wondering, though, in recent comics, you know, with Absolute Carnage and everything, Carnage is certainly bigger. You know, he's like a demon. He's like, he's massive, like he towers over Venom even. It made me wonder what version of Carnage we're going to get in this movie or if we'll get multiple versions. You know, if he'll start off, you know, the small, sleeker style and then as he, you know, uh, you know, malforms throughout the movie, gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, we don't really know exactly what version of Carnage we're going to see yet, but this just got me thinking because this guy's so tall. I'm like, wow, he's pretty imposing. And we saw, um, you know, I started thinking about that scene that we saw pictures of a while ago when they were filming, like, you know, about eight, nine, ten months ago. And it was like a, a stunt performer wearing a gray suit with sneakers on, I think, and he was carrying... Um, Jake Tamori, who, you know, is obviously the stunt double for uh, Tom Hardy uh, when he's Eddie Brock. So I thought that was interesting that there's like this tall guy carrying, you know, Jake down from, uh, from looks like he busts through a wall and, and you know, lands with, uh, you know, holding Jake or holding the Tom, you know, Tom Hardy, Eddie Brock character in his arms. And people were saying, oh, that's probably part of, uh, and I should mention, like, we're speculating here, but there could possibly be some spoilers. So if you if you want to go into Venom, Let There Be Carnage with a clean slate, uh, probably not a good idea to watch my channel. I don't really talk about leaks or anything like that, but I do speculate sometimes. And, uh, and, and we do go into the IMDb page and try to find people who work behind the scenes. And sometimes that gives us, you know, a peek at what the movie might hold. So if you don't want, you know, any information at all, Feel free to turn away now. You know, I appreciate you being here. Uh, for those who want to stick around, you know, I could be wrong. You know, I've been wrong about this stuff before, but I was just, you know, I'm just trying to explain how my wheels were working. I was laying in bed and I was like seeing all this and I go, oh man, I start connecting all these dots, which may not end up, you know, need connecting at all or may not actually be accurate, but I figured it'd be something fun to talk about that's movie related because I'm, you know, I'm hurting for movie news and I know a lot of us out there want it, you know, and so I thought, oh, this could be something interesting because the guy's size is of note. And I thought that'd be interesting to talk about for this episode um, because the person who was carrying um, Jake Tamori in that scene in those photos also was tall, but not the same guy as this. 
So that rules out that whoever is carrying, um, and, and again, each character could have multiple stunt performers for sure, but whoever's carrying Eddie Brock in that scene is probably not Carnage. And then that made me think, well, if it's not that actor, you know, this actor here, uh, Ari Decker, who's playing Carnage, um, who's playing Venom? And then that's when I went and saw Adam uh, Basil's page here. And Adam Basil is the stunt double for Venom. Uh, so then I was like, okay, you know, there's there's that. But then there's also Jeff Mosley, who we talked about before. Um, and Jeff Mosley is a stunt double for Venom for the motion capture stuff. So not really the stuff, I guess, on set. Uh, but or like or when they were filming outside, but I guess stuff that they'll film in studio and I guess Jeff Mosley is that and I it was funny when I went to Jeff Mosley's Instagram page I saw a picture of him dressed as Chewbacca also. Uh, I guess he had done some uh, You know Chewbacca he played Chewbacca and some of the you know theme park stuff or something and uh, so yeah All these guys are pretty tall pretty built guys some of them. Um, I know Adam Basil is a he's pretty big looking dude and uh, He's apparently the stunt double for Venom so it just made me think, like, all right, we got a stunt double for Woody Harrelson, who is James Embry. We got a stunt double for Carnage now, Ari Decker. Uh, we got a stunt double for uh, Eddie Brock, obviously, Jake Tamori. We got a stunt double for Venom, which is Adam Basil, and Venom Motion Capture, which is Jeff Mosley. Um, then we had a stunt performer of uh, Alumide, and I can't pronounce her last name, so I'm so sorry. Uh, we did a video on her, like, what role she'll play because she's going to have a stunt double. And she's not listed as in the main cast. So I'm kind of curious what character she's going to play. Um, but uh, but we have other people doing stunts and stunt performers and stunt driving in this movie. Uh, like Jeff Mosley is also a stunt driver. Michelle Williams has a stunt double. Uh, Reed Scott has a stunt double. And uh, Stephen Graham has two stunt doubles. Uh, Vinny O'Brien, who there's no picture of. And then there's also uh, Sam Durrani. And I was like, thinking of like, okay, well, he's got two stunt doubles. He's going to probably play a big part in the movie. Um, we got uh, Reese Shearsmith, who still hasn't been officially announced, I don't think, but he has a stunt double. Uh, Rob Bowen is his stunt double. Uh, Venom, Carnage, all these characters. So I'm like, well, who... I was going through those pictures and going through this IMDb list, and I couldn't find, or at least I didn't see, so maybe some of you guys would better you know visual abilities than i do or you know mental visual abilities i couldn't seem to you know pinpoint who that performer was that was carrying jake tamori down because i hadn't thought about those pictures in like 10 months and so when i was like oh i wonder if it's the same guy so that because i was trying to piece together like oh is it carnage holding eddie you know breaking out of the jail who is it i can't find out who that guy is <laughs> i couldn't see him here listed on the indb so it makes me wonder if he's being um, omitted for a certain reason um, or if he's just, you know, I just don't recognize his his look or something in the list of all these performers. Um, so I don't know, because some of you have the theory that maybe uh, Toxin might make an appearance in this movie or something like that. Um, I was thinking maybe because the guy who's carrying Eddie is kind of tall and lanky. I was like, yeah, maybe it could be She Venom and they just have a guy performer for some reason instead of a a girl performer maybe just because of size maybe they couldn't find a stunt woman that tall that could do it at a you know according to their schedule or something so it's like maybe it's she venom that's carrying eddie out of the uh the precinct or whatever or maybe it's just the symbiote itself although i feel like if the symbiote why would it just carry eddie i feel like if it would it would have to be bonded to somebody and carry eddie because if it was just carrying eddie it would just bond with him and they would run away as jump off the roof as venom together so someone's holding Eddie. So it just, it was funny because I saw Ari Decker here and it made me think of, you know, Solo and all these other things and, and him as a person. And then that started me lead, leading me down this rabbit hole of, well, who was that guy that was, you know, carrying Eddie in that scene? And what does that scene mean now? You know, is it just this, you know, suit, which I don't think it is. Is it Toxin, which some of you think it is. Is it She Venom and it's just a male performer because he's just wearing a gray suit. So it doesn't really matter uh, gender, I guess, for that. Um, and then I was like, or is it Carnage? Is it, you know, one of the stunt performers? Who, you know, who knows? I don't know. But it, it got me thinking and I was like, well, this could just be a fun speculation, you know, wild, random rant at one in the morning video um and it's just a way to you know also get another movie video out there because i still think uh it was worth making a video on some of these new stunt doubles coming in or stunt performers coming in because we've made videos focusing on that in the past you know from visual effects special effects stunts you know everything we've tried to do a lot of the departments that work on movies and usually stunts are where i go to look for 
uh, who has stunt doubles because sometimes that gives away certain characters that may or may not be in the movie, um, which we've been doing recently with the Resident Evil stuff too on my other channel. Um, but this was just neat. We got a stunt performer for Carnage and he's tall and it makes me wonder what Carnage might look like. So that's one topic I'd like to hear your thoughts on in the comments down below. And then the other one is, is if you had to guess, if, if you know who the stunt performer is that is holding Jake in those photos, let me know that down below. Um, or do you have a theory? If you don't know who the actor is or the stunt performer is, do you have a theory of what what character is carrying Eddie? I'd love to hear your thoughts on both of those down below. So definitely let me know and we'll continue our conversation as always down there. Um, I'll have more of these videos coming up soon. This is just like a random one in the morning video and I'm sitting in bed. I'm reading some uh, comic books that Cam Frazier has donated to us to our channel um, that are uh, King and Black tie-ins. Maybe I'll do a video on those, maybe, but we're getting very close to episode 600, so we'll see how much room I have before we get to episode 600, which I got to start editing very soon, but I'm working like every day for the next 10 days, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'll do my best, um, and as you can tell, I'm really tired, and <laughs> I need to get some sleep, and I got like a lot of lights on me, because I have the Kindle here, and then I got the light up here, um, and uh, and it's just, yeah, I, I'm, it's too many lights. I need to get to bed, so um, I wanted to talk about this, so you guys let me know what your thoughts are, like I said, and we'll talk in the conversation uh, in the chat down below in the comments, so thank you so much for watching the show as always like share subscribe all that fun stuff and i'll see you all in the future peace